how are you at cooking rice? I'm terrible. In fact, just last night I made jasmine rice. Yes. And I'm like reading the instructions. Yeah. I make it. Yeah. I think it's perfect. Okay. I serve it up. My husband's chewing it. And he just looks at me. Nope. Crunchy. It is crunchy. Oh, I undercook it man. every time. Well, okay. We learned how to make rice perfectly every single time from Chef Ted Colfelt. Let's take a look. <laughs> Listen, cooking is hard. He doesn't think so. <laughs> so I have Chef Ted here in my actual real life kitchen and he is showing us some kitchen hacks. Today we are tackling rice. Rice, rice pilaf. So pilaf method is the way to cook rice so that each kernel is cooked separately so you don't end up with sticky rice that's all stuck together. Okay. If you've ever overcooked rice. So a lot of uh, rices, when you buy them in the grocery store on the back of the bag, it will tell you to take boiling water, add rice. Most people tend to overcook that rice like that, and then you end up with a sticky kind of mess, and I don't know. You can make rice balls out of them, but they're not delicious. So okay. let's talk about the peel-off method real easy. So I start out with a nice medium-sized soft saucepan. I actually always start my rice with a little bit of oil and a little bit of onion. I usually let those sweat to just kind of bring out the natural flavor. Now, sweating is done on low heat with a little bit of salt, and the salt draws up the natural moisture, which okay. just kind of helps add some sweet onion flavor to our dish. Right? And so you were asking me earlier why stock instead of water, water right. instead of stock or broth. Yeah. You no, know, water doesn't bring any flavor to what you're cooking, ever. Yeah. It's free, but it doesn't bring any flavor. So once the rice granules are coated in oil, I'm not cooking it, I'm just trying to coat it. Okay. Add your stock, which vegetable stock, your vegan friends will be happy. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're gonna let this come to a simmer and then I'm gonna cover it in foil and we're gonna let it cook on the stove top for about 20 minutes and you'll have perfectly cooked rice. So a little bit of foil and we're gonna keep it on in about a medium heat. We're gonna let it go for 20 minutes. We're gonna come back and check it. All right. So we see here, it's been 20 minutes, we remove our lid, and now we've got rice that's nice and separated. It's not sticking together and good to go. Some people will tell you to fluff it with a fork afterwards, and that's just breaking up those granules, so sometimes they say a spoon can smash them together, but I'm making rice for myself, I'm happy. It's not gonna hurt, it's, <laughs> it's all good. So, rice peel off nice and easy, that way you can always cook rice the right way. You could also do this in your oven. Um, instead of leaving it on your stovetop at low, you could turn your oven on 350 degrees. Same thing, cover with foil and give it 20 minutes and check on it after that. All right? Rice. Rice, what do you think? I'm going to try that. So I guess that oil and the onion prevent yeah. that rice from sticking to the bottom of your pan. So I don't know. That's don't what happens me. to me. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, it's done. And then it's crunchy. And then it's crunchy. I'm going to try that. It. Well, if you really want to learn how to cook like a pro, <laughs> check out the Al Pollard Culinary Arts Program at Virginia Western. Chef Ted is one of the amazing instructors there to help you along the way. He's amazing. All right.